IP multicasting allows a host to send packets to a specific subset of all hosts in a group transmission. Without multicasting, a host is limited to sending to either a single host or all hosts. We'll talk about how to configure multicast forwarding on this edition of Tech Talks next. Think of multicast forwarding as cable TV. Users can join a channel in the middle of a program and leave before it ends. The data is only sent to relevant ports, which conserves bandwidth and the host resources on the link. With that, let me show you how to configure multicast forwarding on a switch. First, log into your switch. Then on the left, look for the tab called Multicast. This is where you can change your settings. In order to configure multicast, both IGMP snooping status and IGMP querier status need to be enabled. If you want to edit the table, click the radio button and click Edit. Choose your VLAN ID and click the Enable IGMP snooping status on all interfaces. Change M Router Ports Auto Learn to either enable or disable Auto Learn of the multicast router. For immediate leave, select Enable to remove any interface that sends a leave message from the forwarding table without first sending out Mac-based general queries to interface. When enabled, it reduces the time it takes to block unnecessary IGMP traffic sent to a port. For the last member query counter, select Use Query Robustness, the number in the parentheses is the current value, or select User Defined and you can define your own value. You can enable IGMP querier status. This is required if there is no multicast router. You can also enable IGMP querier election. Select your IGMP querier version. Select version 3 if there are switches or multicast routers in the VLAN that perform source-specific IP multicast forwarding. Then select your querier source IP address, either auto or user-defined, then click apply and close. Next, we're going to configure the multicast router port. You can filter the ports that you want to see. Filter by VLAN ID or by interface type. I'm going to choose port of unit 1 and press go. Let's look at what the ports mean. Static means the port statically configured as a multicast router port. Dynamic is only displayed here. If you want to change this, you'd have to go into the IGMP snooping page or the MLD snooping page. Forbidden means the port is not to be configured as a multicast router under any circumstances. And none means it is not currently a multicast router port. When you choose your options, click Apply. Next, we're going to configure Forward All. This page configures the ports where the legs that are to receive multicast streams from a specific VLAN. This works the same as what we just walked through for multicast router port. Make your selections, click Apply, and you're done. To more deeply configure multicast forwarding, change the display mode in the upper right corner to Advanced and you'll see more options. Congratulations, you've now configured multicast forwarding. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.